A24 Civil War is the eeriest movie I've seen all year. <laughs> but A24 got another banger on their hands. Literally. The cast was full of stars, so I had high expectations going into this film. Bro, let's Ugh. get straight to it. Oh my mama, we lit! What I didn't expect was for this movie to really boom like it did. <gasps> boom! <laughs> what I mean by that is the sound design for this film was epic. See, when I think about this movie, I don't immediately think about what I saw, but more so about what I heard. And if you ask me, that says a lot about Alex Garland's approach when directing this movie. Fuck it. When did you realize you were like, shit, I got motion, twin? Since birth. They really cultivated a feeling that you can't really put into words. You just have to experience it. It's almost like that old saying goes, you just had to be there. <laughs> But what was this movie even about? Tony, my third day out here. I don't Damn. Know. This movie is set at the tail end of a modern day civil war in the United States. Surprisingly, they never really went into why the war even started. That's suspicious. That's weird. But the story follows this group of photojournalists documenting both sides of the civil war. Last side! with the goal of making it to DC. Now, obviously a good portion of this movie is covering the war and everything surrounding it. Logical. But more so from the press perspective. But this movie is really about seeing all the forms and facets of the human condition. Cause these journalists willingly risk it all just to document life. And if we're being honest, death. You know what? You know what? Wow. I mean, what do you expect? The movie's called Civil War for a reason, right? This is the way. But this movie really did leave me with conflicting feelings after leaving the theater. Not so much towards what happened on the screen, just with the notion of like, what are you willing to accept? Because they did show in some places, they were acting like there was nothing even going on and there was nothing to really see. But you see a lot of these characters go through, you know, a series of emotions. I've never been scared like that before, and I've never felt more alive. We even see them disassociate with the world around them just to, you know, cope with what's actually happening in the chaos. Huh? And a lot of these things go unsaid too, which speaks to the brilliance in the cinematography and the production of the film. It's a combination of all those things that create that flow state that we get to experience on screen. Don't get me wrong, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. This is Sparta! The amount of tension you feel in this movie from moment to moment is intense. <sighs> Even the way they decided to edit this movie and including all the pictures that were taken in the moment. And one of the things that impressed me the most initially was just seeing how in sync you know, the press was with the actual soldiers in the moment, because regardless of where you stand on the political line, everybody's risking their lives every single day to do what they do, you know? And it garners a level of respect that is just crazy to really watch. Now I will say not everybody who had guns had the same mindset. What kind of American are you? You don't know? I mean, if they did, they probably wouldn't even be in civil war in the first place, right? <laughs> Overall though, I don't really have any complaints when it comes to this movie. Granted, you can definitely tell where they spent their money when it comes to like special effects, but I think they got the point across that there was some major warfare going down across the way. Outside of that, I probably have to say this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to review. Not because it's hard to explain, or because of the subject matter. It's just that this movie really drives you to think deeper. And it's the small things that you notice, you know, like at second glance that really put this movie into perspective, which is one of the things that make this road trip movie, cause that's, you know, really what it is, so poetic. Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. Cause it's just so crazy. You could see something that, you know, you would see normally going down the street and then at second glance, you get hit with the reality of like, yo, this is a country at war. That dynamic is just a crazy thing to watch, bro. But this movie is really a masterpiece, which is why I had to give it a 10 out of 10 G5 score. Yeah, I definitely think people should watch it. But if you enjoyed this review, here's another one we think you would like. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for more. And uh, yeah, see you next Friday. Peace.